What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here, bringing you another projected Madden 16 overall ratings video. Today we're looking at the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders! Uh, as always, this video has 30 likes, we'll upload a new video soonish. The video hits 50 likes, we'll upload a new video immediately. Uh, yeah, thousands, let's hit subscribe guys, man. That's, that's a big thing in this video. Please fucking subscribe because we want 10,000 subscribers by the time Madden 16 comes out. I know we can do it. Uh, so without further ado, look at the top five players on the Raiders roster. Starting at number one, that's going to be Khalil Mack. Phenomenal, phenomenal rookie season. You guys got yourself a superstar here. Uh, center, Rodney Hudson, uh, 86 overall, incredibly solid center. Middle linebacker, Curtis Lofton, coming over from the New Orleans Saints, 85 overall. Fullback, Marcel, Marcel Reese, one of those solid, you know, him, John Kuhn, and Mike Tolbert consistently uh, some of the best fullbacks. You also got Anthony Sherman in Kansas City. And then defensive tackle, Dan Williams, coming from the Arizona Cardinals, 84. Plus, got to show some love to the man, the myth, the legend, Charles Woodson. So now look at the individual position breakdown. Uh, Derek Carr, we gave him an 81 overall. Without a doubt, in my opinion, the best rookie quarterback last year. I Look at all my fucking videos last year talking about him. I said he was going to be the best quarterback in last year's draft class. Uh, I believe he was, like, you know, ranked the third or fourth best, uh, you know, on most rankings. But, you know, he fucking did it, man. Derek Carr is sick. Uh, last year, 3,200 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. You guys got yourself a stud. Uh, you know, you, you can tell from my content of my video, if I kind of have to like an AFC team, I'll pick the Raiders just because, you know, they usually do kind of suck. So I don't have to worry about them being a real competition to Philly. But they're always get that, that legacy. And they're usually a pretty exciting team, whether it's on the field or off the field. Uh, so, I mean, Derek Carr, you got an absolute stud here. Uh, now look at the running back position. Uh, obviously, we'll start. They got the shitty Tredrickson. Uh, I don't know, you know, low, very, very low risk. Not like when the Colts got him for a first-round pick. He got him for basically scraps. So if he does eventually pan out, uh, you got him for nothing sitting there on the roster. Uh, Roy Hillou Jr., incredibly solid running back, underrated for coming from the Washington Redskins. But then Latavius Murray obviously exploded onto the scene. Uh, only started three games, had 424 yards rushing and two touchdowns, as well as 150 receiving yards. Uh, expecting a big season out of him next year. I know he had a concussion. Uh, he took a pretty bad concussion. Uh, near the end, after he got his, I think it was the second game he might have started, second or third game, but Derek Fadden is no longer there, he moved on to the Dallas Cowboys, so it's, I think Murray's, it's Murray's job for the taking here, uh, but, but him and Halu is definitely going to be a nice little combination, and then you never, like I said, you never know with Trent Richardson what's going to happen there, uh, fullback, as we said, Marcel Reese, 85 overall, uh, usually one of the better players, uh, better like playmaking fullbacks in the league, around 100 rushing yards last year, uh, 260 pass uh, receiving yards, as well as one touchdown, uh, you know, as always, made the Pro Bowl. Started to become a perennial Pro Bowler. Uh, now, then the wide receiver position, they went on and got a Mary Cooper, who, you know, 83 overall, one of the highest rated rookies in this year's Madden game. Uh, obviously, I really think they made the better choice here over someone like Kevin White. You thought, you know, just knowing that the Raiders are going to go Kevin White because he ran the faster 40 time. But then ahead, they got the beast of Mary Cooper. Personally, I'm not really a fan. I think he's kind of a shithead. Uh, if you look at his Twitter, his Twitter timeline, he's pretty much a fucking dickhead. Uh, but incredible player. Uh, the, the, the kind of stats he was putting up with Alabama with Blake Sims, a quarterback, a pretty inferior quarterback, and going against SEC defenses. I mean, this guy's a freak and an excellent weapon to have for Derek Carr for years to come. Then they got Michael Crabtree coming over from the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, hasn't really been the same after his injury, but he has all potential. Uh, another low-risk signing here, much like, uh, like, much like Trent Richardson. Uh, Andre Holmes, 75 overall, very solid player uh, last year. Uh, he had uh, 600 yards, almost 700 receiving yards and four touchdowns. Then you got Rod Streeter, uh, you know, who, who was looking pretty promising two years ago. Uh, had some bad injuries. So, I mean, there's there's a whole lot of upside here uh, in the receiving core. Uh, tight end Michael Rivera. Michael Rivera uh, we gave him a 77 overall. That's some pretty solid games last year. Ended up finished the season with 60 receptions, 500 yards and four touchdowns. So, again, uh, just another guy that's hoping there's a lot of upside. We also got Clive Walford. Uh, regarded as debatably the top tight end, him and Max Williams in this year's draft class. So I expect him and Riviera to be uh, two excellent receiving tight ends for Derek Carr. Uh, left tackle Donald Penn, the former Tam uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneer, 83 overall. Uh, left guard Gabe Jackson, 82 overall. Uh, I said, remember last year, him and Derek Carr, man. I remember a lot of people were sleeping on Gabe Jackson. I said Gabe Jackson is going to be a beast. I believe he's might have been actually my highest rated guard last year uh, when I did my mock draft videos, and he's phenomenal last season, 82. Uh, center Rodney Hudson, 86. Right guard Tony Bergstrom, who the fuck's this guy, 73. Uh, right tackle Austin Howard, 79, had a solid year. I always love uh, Menelik Watson, been a fan of him since NCAA 14 Ultimate Team. Uh, but I mean, you know, solid offensive line here in Oakland. 
Uh, now going on the defensive side of the ball, left defensive end, uh, Justin Tuck. Uh, last year, Justin Tuck had five sacks, uh, just under fi- uh, 40 tackles. So, I mean, you know, starting to slow a little bit down, but still can be a productive player. Uh, right defensive end, they got Mario Edwards Jr., who you know has struggled with his weight. His weight's fluctuated quite a bit. I remember he was like 260, now he's 295. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of weight he comes at. But I remember he used to be the top-rated uh, high school prospect uh, going into college, so a whole lot of upside for him. Uh, very, very solid player, so flashes as a brilliant. So it's going to be interesting to see how he comes out uh, after this training camp. Uh, but still, yes, there's some talent there. Uh, the defensive tackle position, obviously getting Dan Williams, the former Arizona Cardinal. Really, really underrated player. Uh, really, really, you know, who they, who they lose? They lost, uh, fuck, I can't remember his name. They had, uh, fuck. I don't want to take too long trying to think of this motherfucker's name. They had, uh, Pat Sims. They lost Pat Sims, so you get Daniel Williams. That's an immediate upgrade right there. Uh, we'll get a left outside linebacker. As we already mentioned, Khalil Mack's an absolute beast. Uh, last year was the draft. They really started to say, all right, we're the Oakland Raiders. We understand we're just absolutely have a decade of garbage drafts. So last year was the first... Really, really sick draft. They probably, on paper, might have had the best draft last year. Uh, looking back in retrospect, Klomak, 86 overall last year. 16 starts. Uh, he had three pass deflections, four sacks, and uh, just under 70 tack- or just under 80 tackles. So, I mean, he's definitely gonna, he's going to come on and have a really, really big year next year. And definitely has a chance to make the Pro Bowl. Uh, middle linebacker, Curtis Lofton, uh, coming over from the New Orleans Saints. I believe he had like 100-plus tackles last year. Uh, so, we're giving him an 85 overall. Right outside linebacker, Sio Moore, or Sio Moore, uh, 78. Uh, last year only played 11, uh, started 11 games uh, with one forced fumble, three sacks, and uh, just under 90 tackles. Then they got the former Super Bowl MVP, Malcolm Smith, from the uh, Seattle Seahawks. So, I mean, that's great, excellent depth there uh, to have. Uh, now I'm going to the corner, DJ Hayden. We gave him a 77 overall. Uh, last year he had one interception, only eight starts, as well as 50 tackles. So, I mean, obviously... Remember, didn't he have, like, a fucked up heart? He had, like, some heart conditions and shit like that. Uh, you know, good to hear him come back, though. I mean, I remember it was one of those things. I don't want to look it up and take too much time, but I remember he had, like, something that was like, oh, my God, he might never play again kind of thing. So it was excellent to see him coming back. A very solid, solid corner. Uh, They got TJ Carey, who kind of had a pretty solid rookie season. Uh, Ended up starting four games. Had one reception and almost 50 tackles. I get the beast, Keith McGill, at 6'3", 211. Uh, I don't think he really did a whole lot last year. Uh, but hopefully, you know, he can have a nice nice bump in playing time. Uh, free safety, uh, ageless wonder himself, Charles Woodson, 84 overall. Uh, I believe he had, the, he had the most uh, total tackles of his career last year. Uh, he, what is that, 100, almost 120 tackles, four interceptions, uh, eight pass deflections, one sack. I mean, I, literally, he could probably play till he's 40, the way he's playing right. Like, he has zero signs of slowing down. Uh, well, literally, he has signs of slowing down because it's speed 84. But, I mean, outside of that, he's still phenomenal, phenomenal player. Uh, you know, surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. And that strong safety to replace Tyvon Branch. They got Nate Allen. Nate Allen's a solid player for Philly. As an, as an Eagle fan, I'm telling you, uh, you Raider fans right now, uh, if, you, if you took his contract out of it, you got a solid player. I mean, Nate Allen's good for three, four interceptions a year. Coverage skills, don't assume because he gets a lot of interceptions that his coverage skills are good. He's actually quite poor in coverage. Uh, pretty solid tackler, uh, you know. But you paid him like $30 million. He's fucking depth at best on most teams. Uh, so you fucking overpaid. It's one of those things I think you had to, like, the Raiders are so low under the cap, they had to, like, start throwing money around so they didn't get any fines or anything like that. Uh, the kicker, you get the beast, Sebastian Janikowski. Uh, biggest fucking leg in the NFL. What would you give him for kick power? 91? What do you give him for kick power? 96 kick power. Probably could give him a little bit more. Started so signs of slowing down here. Old Seabass. Still fucking just hilarious kicker. And then uh, Marquette King, 77 overall for the only black punter in the NFL. We ain't racist in this bitch. There you have it, guys. Those are your projected Madden 16 overall ratings video for the Oakland Raiders. As always, this video is 30 likes. A new video uploaded soonish. 50 likes, new video uploaded immediately. Leave a comment in the comment section below with what you think about these ratings. Subscribe to Beast Mode TV. We want 10K subs by Madden 16. That about does it, guys. Until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.